if you're cutting your lawn, you got to wait till the dew mm -hmm. disappears. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to clog your lawnmower yeah. uh, 400 times. Don't want to yeah, do that. Twice no. as much work, pretty much. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's frustrating, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, cutting if, wet grass is probably like one of my oh, least favorite yes. things. <laughs> it feels so much better out there, though. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. Tango and I, my dog, were able to be out there for so much longer this morning than Absolutely. 10, 15 minutes when it's been in the mid 90s. Yeah, the you know past Tango's appreciating weeks. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to get Mercedes out and give her a good walk. There you go. Take so, advantage while yeah, you can. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. All right. Thanks, Dan. Okay, guys. Uh, so when was last time, if ever, have you checked your sunscreen for an expiration date? Huh. So I had no idea that was a thing. Yeah, me neither, but apparently no it is. An yes. important thing. Very much <laughs> so. Experts want to remind you to check that date before you put it on and go outside. Putting on expired sunscreen can be risky. The older it is, the higher chance of it just not protecting you from the sun's powerful rays. If the sunscreen doesn't have an expiration date, write the date of purchase on the bottle. Throw the bottle out three years after purchase. It. Avoid exposing the bottle to intense heat or the direct sun and throw sunscreen away if color or consistency change. Very good reminder there. Yes, very important. Yes. T minus 365 days. I knew that was going to happen. There we uh, go. I got it. We practiced so much and we yeah, couldn't yeah. do it. <laughs> Until the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, of course. So, yeah. We're very excited about it, and we're going to take a closer look at why some people are saying Tokyo is the best prepared Olympic host city ever.